the Buffalo Bills. here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports here's Richie James on the return and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Well, this defense for the Bills, terrific last week in the season opening victory. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Got a man, it's the rookie Jalen Waddle. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three touchdown game of their victory a week ago. But what's the big key for them to try to slow him down? You ask all the tough questions, don't you, partner? Because with this guy, if you blitz him, he takes advantage of that man coverage and burns you. But if you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be those DBs. When they catch the ball, big time tackles really put it on those receivers. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Two straight four-yard runs, and it is steadily working the ball downfield. To me, they're staying right on schedule. First down, you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive. They're getting exactly that. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Here's Kaepernick to throw. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7 0 game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Devin Singletary. He played in this state at Florida Atlantic, and he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. Here's second and 10. Going to throw. They'll set up a screen for Brita. 
And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. In lieu of the sneak on fourth and inches, they just say, give it to the big man in the backfield. Yeah, fullback no less. Not many of those left in the NFL, but for those that have one, perfect time to use them, perfect time to get it done. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Flush to his right. On oh, the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that may have been incomplete, but he reminds me so much of when my dad used to take me to the baseball stadium and watch the home run hitters in batting practice. I'll get to the stadium early just to watch this kid throw it. He can throw it out of the stadium. On second down now, it's Logan. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. And he's got Rome. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A big game there for the Bills. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles and when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day it's an eight yard pickup but it leads to a first and goal fullback try and take him home and he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown Darren Fells his first touchdown here of the new campaign and the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game extra point by Bass up and good and that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play each team's had it each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away Here's James. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. at the line ready for their next drive after the long touchdown drive we just saw you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the win out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time too had to sit over there for a little while didn't they you know they were eager amped up to get back on the field after just scoring hoping to get the ball back quickly that didn't happen so i'd say come out just kind of get started again you know it doesn't have to be anything dramatic just get moving get loose again and see if they can get it downfield So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw is Kaepernick. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. 
Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. Forced out to his left. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. These two teams all tied after one. First down with Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the door gets tough in here. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Calling a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it was a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well, protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Josh Allen, he says that he wants to continue to perfect executing the run pass option. Looked pretty good there. And he's put in the minds of all people trying to defend him that his legs create big plays. So guess who benefits? His running back. You no doubt about it, and we just saw it there. They'll run on first down with Singletary, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll bring up fourth down. They run for it with Breida. 
But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Just enough push up front. He only needed about six inches. He didn't get a whole lot more than that. No, but he made sure he got enough so they didn't have to worry about measuring it or making it even close. Ends up picking up a couple of yards in a situation, as you noted, where he only needed inches. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's gonna break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Some good strong running right there, some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Bills have taken the lead. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Now James returning. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. On first down, Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now they'll throw with Kaepernick. Going deep for Hopkins. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. Sanders kick is good, and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hold. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. 
And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Brita, he'll try the right side. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. They run the counter. Logan. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There was absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Going to give this one to Singletary. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Five yards. Now it's third and five. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. On third, here's an option play right. On third down, a run from Breda. Well, this is going to depend on the spot. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And this offense has converted twice already here in this first half on fourth down conversions. And here we go again. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. the 20 five and he will score to extend their lead here just before halftime extra point by bass up and good and that makes it a 21 to 10 game so not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away this is taken just shy of the 10 and he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive as they take over here with 11 seconds remaining. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And how about this land out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And the Bills now with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. 
And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. 54 yards on the ground for him so far. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He'll dump this down to Matt Breida. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. They wind up losing a yard on the play. And that is going to set up a third and one. Try to run for this with Singletary. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now Allen. He'll get this into the hands of Breida. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Second and eight. Singletary here running out of the gun. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And defensively going with a dime set, six DBs on third and four. Here's a handoff left side to Brita. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On the give, this is Singletary. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. And just pops this forward. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down, and the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. 
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you into bigger errors. 64 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On play action, it's Kaepernick. Going deep for Hopkins. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. You got to know as a quarterback that's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position, and he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra deep on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, Singletary. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Call it a gain of five that time. They'll be left with a third down at about nine to go. Throwing now is Allen. Check down to Breida. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down, and the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at the 40. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. And they take him down, the Bills get to him. Here's third and long, Kaepernick needing a big play to counteract the sack. They're gonna look to throw. Caught left side, Hopkins. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Get 
Now Kaepernick, got to have this one. And this one could play to Will Fuller. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Eluding the pressure right. Throw left side complete. That's Hopkins. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. But every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Akers. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. And defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. But they wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. And he is out of bounds here. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him. But instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. Akers, and he is in. Touchdown, Miami. His second rushing touchdown on the campaign and fourth overall. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Kaepernick looking to throw for it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do. And don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense. Right? Well, that's true. You've said that before. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdote. 3% of the time, you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On play action, Allen. That'll be complete to Brita. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And they're going option play on third down. Oh, no, he lost the football. Now a whistle and a timeout defensively. Trying to stop it, and they do with two seconds to go prior to the two-minute warning. Here's Matt Hawk now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. On the return, it's James. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Now Kaepernick. Into the hands of Gasicki. Gets through and now an opening. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, and stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every out. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and let your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple of plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Back to throw, Kaepernick. And this pass broken up. But the contact well timed there and now fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. And down by five, they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They're going for it, it's Kaepernick. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, who watched them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Kaepernick to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. I mean, we've been watching this one right here. We gave up because that score, they might want to try and rush back into the stadium. And uh, what looks like is going to be the game deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. So that effort gives them a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Allen. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get the midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now Allen. That's taken in by Knox. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 
And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding of where they are on the field? So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Flushed out right. He's going to let it fly. And did he catch it? He did. A touchdown. 